Podcast. What's up guys and today I have for you something really cool. It's the world's smallest action figures by Super Impulse. Now I saw product shots of these way way back in the day but I never saw them for sale so I didn't even bother looking for them. But then I saw them on Amazon and decided to order some. Now Amazon doesn't let you choose specific characters, only the brand. It's kind of like a blind bag. And they currently only have Power Rangers, G.I. Joe and Transformers. So I decided to go G.I. Joe and I ordered two Joes hoping to get at least one Snake Eyes. And I ended up getting two snake eyes, go figure. <laughs> Works out for me, I'm not complaining. I'll have the links below in the description if you want to try your luck too. But anyways, then I saw a post by Toy Shiz showing them in the card aisle of Target, so I went to check that out and found these bad boys too. So thanks dude. Now these are some surprisingly quality figures and I have some super close ups for you, so let's get this review rolling. All right, now starting with the packaging, the outer packaging. It's just a clamshell design with some glam shots in the front as you can see there. G.I. Joe has their own little theme and the Masters of the Universe has their own as well. And then on the back you have the other Oh, Jesus. There we go. Tight space there. But anyways, on the back, you see the other figures in the line. Definitely want to get all the Master of the Universe one. And then that little barcode there that just takes you to their website. On G.I. Joe, same thing. There's only three of them. Definitely need to get Roadblock to finish off the G.I. Joe set. And then, of course, you have the UPCs on the bottom. Hey, that worked. I thought I was going to drop them all, but hey, there, there you go. There's the UPCs. Now, there is a little trick I figured out that I want to share with you guys where you can open these packages with minimal destruction because as you can see, they're you no know, clamshell packaging, which means normally you'd like slice this side off, this side off, this side off, and then the package is destroyed. But if you look at the very bottom here, notice how it's kind of open, and then you notice how the clam only comes down to here, and there's a little gap right there. Well, the gap is just big enough for some scissors. Let me get some scissors. All right, got some scissors here. Let's go and clear this workspace slash studio. Anyways, you'll want to go from the back because you're going to turn this into a hinge door. If you do it from the front, it's kind of, I guess it would work, but it wouldn't look as nice. So you will get your scissors and stick it right into that hole right there and just start cutting like so right along that seam. And then, bada bing, bada boom, you got a little hinged door right here. The front still looks good. You simply open that, you pull the insert out, and then you lift this part, and then you slide the figure right out. And there you go. Figure comes out, and the clamshell is still intact. And if you want to put them back, it's just the reverse. Just put that in there, line it up correctly, let them slide right in. Boom. Then you get the package insert, slide that back in there, make sure it goes into the slot, otherwise you're gonna crush it when you shut the door. And then you shut the door and look, it's just like like it's not open, except for the little door. You probably taped this up. But it's on the back, so I mean, you know, front and face forward like Claymore, so nobody's ever gonna see it. And if you're wondering what dropped out, it's this little package insert here, which I'll show you. All right, I will scroll this slowly so that you guys can see that Super Impulse has an insanely large catalog of a goody goodiness. Just look at all that stuff they have. And here's the other mini figures that they have there. Definitely want to get the Ninja Turtles. Not sure about the horror Power Rangers. I'm waiting to see. Definitely want the Transformers. And then here is the back with some arcade cabinets and some more goody goodies. Just so much stuff. Insane catalog. And that's it. So let's go and take a look at the figures now. And there they are, guys. Free from their packaging. I, again, because they were also free in the intro. But anyways, one thing I do want to point out is I do like how these little blister cards here have this little like little tab up here in the front, as you can see, that allows them to sit vertically 90 degrees, which is nice because like real blister cards, sometimes they have the little tab and it like leans forward a little bit and then they go. So, so that's a bummer. So definitely like how they did this. But we're gonna go ahead and look at each one of these individually and we're gonna go ahead and start with Snake Eyes. All right, now starting with this blister card, it's made of a pretty hard, yet still a little bit flexible plastic, which is great because it makes it nice and durable. And this little front piece right here is made of very clear acrylic, very thick and good quality as well, which is nice. And these portions right here are actually just stickered on stickers, which is actually kind of nice for you customizers out there because you can just pull these off, print out whatever you want and if you're good at customizing you repaint figures or whatnot and just turn them into any figure you want even Marvel Legends but hopefully they actually make Marvel Legends or, or I mean like Marvel figures not actual Marvel Legends or 
that would just be weird. But anyways, as for getting the figure out, there's a little handle right there. As you can see, you just grab that tab handle and you pull open and there it goes. Now this hinge here is actually just plastic. It's one of those just, you know, bent plastic hinges. So definitely don't push it all the way because right here it's good, but you can feel the tension and do that enough times it's gonna probably break. But anyways, you get a little tab right here for snake eyes and you just pull that. And then the, the plastic vacuum form comes out and he, he's just stuck in there, which is kind of interesting. But what's nice is like, you know, there's accessory there. You can just stick that back in and then close the door. And then, actually wait, line them up first. Okay, there we go, now he's lined up. Then you close the door and it's just like it was never open, which is great. Now, one thing I do want to point out with this is you would think that this is actually the lock hinge right here, but it's not. If you look closely, the actual hinges are right there and there. I, I had some issues before, which is how I noticed. So when you close it, you don't push here, you push up here and here, and then it's nice and closed. All right, anyways, let's go and get him out now fully. So we'll go and pull this out. Get the figure out there, and then as you can see, the accessory bag. Just look at this, look at this vacuum form thing. It's so tiny, it's, it's awesome. But anyways, you have your little baggie of accessories here, which we'll look at later. But first, we'll look at Mr. Figure right here. All right, now what's interesting is, let's see how close I can get to show the details. He's got a lot of, oh, my fat fingers are in the way. Actually, you know what? There we go, that should be better. Hold with the tweezers and my fingers out of the way. Anyways, as you can see, there's actually a surprising amount of details on, oh, I can't turn, can't, print. okay, you know what? Maybe no tweezers. All right, I think I just got a better idea on how to show you the details on them. Okay, that should be better. But anyways, as you can see, there's actually a pretty decent amount of sculpting on such a tiny figure. I mean, on the front there, it looks like he's got some grenades sculpted into him as well as his straps. And then his uh, little mask there, and it looks like he's got dimples on the mouth, just like the, you know, actual G.I. Joe classified snake eyes, which is pretty impressive, you know? And then he's got little thingies on his sides as well, and then on the back, they, he has that little kind of suspender strap as well, and just, it's, they put quite a bit of detail into him. He's so tiny. And the bottom of his feet has a one little peg hole for this stand, which comes with him. And now for articulation, which is kind of ridiculous for something so tiny, but they managed to put it in there. His arm rotates in a circle, both of them, and his head rotates in a circle as well. And that's it. And honestly, that's good enough because it's so tiny. I mean, I, they could have put leg art. Actually, I don't know. Could could be less durable. Maybe, maybe in the future. And as for his accessories, he comes with a mini suppressed Uzi, which has quite a bit of details on it on both sides. Pretty impressive. Although if you drop this on like a dark carpet floor or just dark flooring in general, it's gone. It, it's just gone. And he also comes with what looks like a magazine pouch, I think. I don't know. You, you guys let me know if, if that looks like a magazine pouch to you. Also very tiny. And then he comes with what looks like a canteen drinking bottle. Uh, maybe. Uh, uh, once again, I'm, I'm not really sure. Whatever. What, what do you guys think? And finally, he comes with his little clear acrylic stand with a little peg on it. All right, now let's do the inconceivable and attempt to actually put these accessories on him. Whoa, he just he just picked up his little pouch already. Okay, that that works out. All right, actually, let's take the pouch off. We got to put it on on camera. All right, let's get him into his stand here. We got the peg hole there, and man, it's more like a review of my fingers than this figure. It's so tiny. Okay, let's see there. Got the peg in there. All right, there's that peg. And then we'll get the one of the pouches on there. Make sure I don't drop it because it will literally be gone forever. This could like get stuck in your shirt and you wouldn't even know. It, it, it like go into the washing machine, just be gone. It's just so tiny, especially the Uzi. All right. Oh man, the focus just is so crazy. Okay, we got that. And now here comes the fun part. Let's get this Uzi in his hand without dropping it or losing it. Look, look at that. He's got a tiny little little gap as you can see in his hand there. And we're gonna try to thread the needle. Just thread the needle. Oh my god I did it. <laughs> and there you go. There is Snake Eyes holding his Uzi. Here let me give you a close up. And that is just insane that they can do that. That is definitely a micro action figure. Well, now that Snake Eyes is done, we'll go and give Snake Eyes his Snake Eyes figure right there. Just kind of hold on to that. Just, just, just gonna put that in your lap right there. All right, let's go and do Duke next. 
All right, and here is Duke's blister card packaging there. Some pretty nice artwork. Got the Hasbro logo, just like on Snake Eyes. And then the back is the same. <laughs> I just realized there's a nice little barcode right there. I wonder what happens if you scan it. Yeah, oh well. Anyways, let's go ahead and unbox Duke and see what he comes with. Okay, it looks like he's got a little blister pack as well. And then his accessory bag. And then there is Duke. And oh man, okay, we got to do some close-ups of him because he's got some incredible detail. Now he's actually got a little bit of boot detail as you can see. And then going up, pants got some details. Well, he's got a belt and everything. Then he's got his uh, bandolier or something. But check out his face. They, they actually have a sculpted face. And look at the eyes. How, how did they even paint that? There's actually white in his eyes, and then pupils, and then eyebrows. Jeez, that's insane. All right, and looking at his side here, looks like they painted on a pistol there. And then looking at his other side, looks pretty plain, as we can see. And then moving up his back, looks like he, they gave him some back pockets. There's some more of the belt. There's a little hole there for one of his accessories, which I'll show you. And then he's got some just painted on hair. And for articulation, it's just the same as Snake Eyes, where his arms rotate and his head rotates as well. Just crazy how small. I think it would be really awesome if Super Impulse actually made like a YouTube video or something showing just how they got this micro painting, because that is just insane. All right, now let's go and look at his accessories. Man, they're so small. I swear, like, an ant's just gonna, like, come in and just take it to their ant colony and I'll, like, never see this again. But anyways, for his weapon, it looks like he comes with a grease gun, which is pretty interesting. They're going really old school there, dub dub two. Yet still incredibly detailed. They even have the iron sights on there. Then he comes with his helmet, which I literally nearly just lost because since it's round, it just slipped out of the tweezers and thankfully landed on my foot. So it was pretty easy to find. Then he comes with his backpack here, which has quite a bit of detail and thankfully is nice and big in comparison to the other ones like this one, you probably would be able to find if you dropped it. And it has a peg on the back there to plug into him. And finally, he too comes with a stand just like Snake Eyes. All right, now let's go and put his accessories on. We'll just skip the stand because it's kind of a pain to put on. Plus they can stand by themselves. So we'll plug this into the pack right here. Oh, that plugs in pretty nicely. And that's kind of cool. A little backpack there. And give him his little helmet. Actually, I'll wait for that. I might drop the helmet and we'll try to get the weapon on. Oh God, the, the focus. Okay, that's better. All right, let's thread the needle here. Let's see if we can get this gun in to his hand. And I think I got, I got it. <laughs> I got it. All right, now we can put the helmet on. It's so tiny, come on, gotta roll it. This one's hard because it's, it's round and it's tiny and it might just roll off your hand. And oh, that fits nicely. There is no tension, so it definitely will just roll off. And, and there you go. There is Duke fully accessorized. It looks so cool. <laughs> All right, you know, these, these figures are just like the coolest thing ever. I don't know why. They're so tiny that details are nothing compared to like J.I. Joe Classified, but they're just incredibly just fun. And oh, there, oh, there goes his helmet. Oh, no, I got his helmet. Here, Duke, you gotta keep your helmet on, man. That's how you die in war if you lose your helmet. All right, got your helmet on there. Duke's holding his figure there. All right, now let's move on to He-Man. All right, now this one, I really like the packaging on this. It's just the artwork's awesome and the colors and everything. And I used to be a big He-Man fan as a kid and then I kind of grew out of them, but all these He-Mans showing up again, I think I'm starting to like them again. Really like this white background too. It looks awesome. Ninja Turtles are gonna be white too, so I think I may like that. All right, now we'll go and pop him open and he's the exact same. Got a little tab right there. Pull that out there, and oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to show these accessories, it's insane. All right, get He-Man out there. All right, I'm actually gonna have to put him on his stand straight off the bat, because if you look here, his feet are actually curved up like a, like a dead witch or something. I don't know, that's kind of weird. But actually, something I did notice is that he's a lot squishier than the other figures. Here, let me grab it. Sorry, Duke, I'm gonna have to take your figure. But if you look at here, Oh geez, there goes his helmet. Warning, his helmet falls off so easily. If you look here, it's actually pretty stiff. The legs, you know, they're, they're bendy, but they're pretty stiff. But then when you look at He-Man here, it is super squishy. His whole body's super squishy. I'm guessing that's because of Battle Cat, so that he can kind of straddle Battle Cat and sit on him. But anyways, let me get a stand on. All right, there we go, that's better. Now he can stand up, and now we can get some close-ups of this incredible figure. I think he is the 
best sculpt in one of them all and painted. Look at, look at his little boots there. He's got a little fluffy fur on there. Look at his sculpted legs. Super muscular. Even his little loincloth has little like kind of, you know, cloth indentations in it and it's, it's like well painted. Look at that paint line. It's so amazing. And then he's got his little strap across his chest there and his muscular chest and it's well painted and look at his face he got his eyes his eyebrows and his mouth and his hair looks like fabulous it's like wow then from the side view you can see his insanely muscular arm and his thighs are like thunder thighs it's crazy and he's got some pretty cool gauntlets on his arms too wrists not arms wrists then the back just continues the awesome detail you see more of that detail on his loincloth underwear there and then of course his his little strap and then his hair just looks incredible now his little back strap here it looks like that's the connection point it's actually glued on you can't pull it off well you probably could pull it off but i'm not going to pull it off because i don't want to try to glue it back on that looks like it's either a you know kind of engineering point of attachment or uh, maybe to put an accessory. I don't know, we'll try it. All right, now we'll look at his accessories and he's got the smallest accessory that just ever, and just, just take a look at this. It's a knife and just how? How, how it's even got a pointed tip I how 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 did they do that I, I don't know see now this is why you need to buy two he-mans because you're gonna lose this and the second he-man will just be to complete the set all right then he comes with an axe which is a far more reasonable size <laughs> although I wish they painted it and then he comes with his power sword which is painted and looks amazing and is thankfully big enough to where you probably won't lose it it's got some thickness to it as well but I mean, they're all so tight. You're probably just going to lose He-Man, the whole set, including his blister card. It's crazy. And finally, we have his shield. Lots of details on the front, not so much on the back, although the back has the attachment points to his arm. All right, and here he is holding some of his accessories. I did manage to get the knife in his hand because, oh, he's going to fall forward. Yep, he fell forward. Got the knife in his hand because I just I felt like I needed to, and it actually went on pretty easily, surprisingly. His, his shield goes on, too. It doesn't stay on very well, though. And it looks like this little back piece right here is great for sticking his axe into. Just like so. It plugs right in. So now he's got his axe, his knife, and his shield. And he doesn't stand very well. Oh, well. Okay, there we go. I moved his shield backwards to rebalance him, and now he stands. And here's what he looks like with his power sword! All right, we're going to give He-Man to Scarlet right there. We just put that in her lap, and now it's time for the final figure in this review. Oh, my God, the knife. I forgot about that. I so would have lost that. All right, now Battle Cat has some interesting packaging, different from the rest because he's a big old cat so he needs a bigger box that's a pretty cool glam shot artwork right there figures of the back that's pretty awesome and then there's the top and the bottom is just all clear unfortunately and there's no backing there which is oh well but anyways it just flips open nice and easy it's got some vacuform packaging there figure comes out and there's more vacuform packaging at the bottom but i'll just leave it in there because it's no point super easy to put him back in though now the cat actually has more details on him which makes sense because he is bigger so it's easier to put more details i mean if they can put so much details on the small ones i mean big ones should be easier i really like how clean the yellow paint is and then his little saddle and stuff looks great it's just they did a great job on this too. Now something really cool about this Catman do here is that, well, that just spoiled it. The helmet comes off. Yeah, kind of, oh well, whatever. The helmet comes off and it's pretty soft too. Sits on there nicely, which is pretty awesome. And this little, I like how it's like sculpted underneath too. That's, that's pretty awesome. And this little strap here, it can come off, but it is glued on right there. As you can see, it kind of just, slides into that slot there and then they glued it permanently so if you want you could cut this off and then there's most likely detail underneath and you can have a, a saddleless battle cat so i mean i guess you could buy two of these i mean especially since they're like six bucks buy two of these one with armor one without so that'd be pretty awesome and of course he has articulation his head rotates his arms go forward and back and then his legs which are also his arms but on his rear end go that way and then his tail spins in a circle too all right now let's oh there goes his helmet all right now let's go and put he-man on there to see what he looks like and see how hard it is to put on oh, there goes his accessories there goes that accessory and there's he-man go ahead and slide him off yep that's why his legs are squishy the helmet fell off but 
Yep, as you can see, He-Man goes on there, just like so, squishy legs, so just slides right in there. All his accessories fell off except for his power sword, which is fitting, I guess. We're going to put Battle Cat's helmet back on there to make him look good. And there you go. There's He-Man riding Battle Cat in the tiniest form ever. Rawr! Rawr! I'm He-Man and I have my Battle Cat ready for fighting! Rawr! 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 I'm a Battle Cat. Actually, it's just a tiger they painted green and added armor to, but it's still cool. Hey, can I play? Huh? Oh, uh, I, I only, I only have one He-Man. I brought my Joes. <gasps> you got G.I. Joe? Yeah, you can play. Come here. And for some measurements without their stand, He-Man has to have his stand because he won't stand. They are about one inch tall. Looks like the helmet adds just a little bit more to Duke. That would put them at 172nd scale if you're basing it off a typical six foot person. Which means in the hands of a 112 scale figure it would be a 16 scale figure. In the hands of a 16 scale figure it would be a 112 scale figure. And for some comparisons, here they are next to the Legends Baby Yoda. Here they are being held by their full size 112 scale counterparts. Here's some more figures, and uh, let's just face it, they're tiny. They're, they're tiny. Well guys, if you couldn't tell already, I really like these figures. Like, really like these figures. Although right now they're more of a kind of trinket collectible. They're just kind of a one-off. They have so much potential to become like a full-blown toy line. I mean, at this scale, you can actually have a full scale Castle Grayskull or even Mill military vehicles. Like take for example an F-15 fighter jet. In real life it's 64 feet long, but if you scale it down to 172nd scale, that would only make it 10 and a half inches long. That's like totally reasonable and it's true to scale. Or how about an M1 Abrams tank? In real life it's 32 feet. Scaled down to 172nd, only 5 inches long. It's like perfect. I really hope Super Impulse builds upon this because it has so much potential and I just, I, I want more. And who dudes, thanks for watching as always and I'll have have Amazon links below if you want to try your luck and see which ones you can get. And until next time, I will be out hunting for the rest of them. Stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Hey, go, go.